When I interviewed these guys today, they told me that they honestly thought that they were gonna die up on that mountain. When you hear their story, you'll see why. It started out as a fun hunting and camping trip with four friends and their son. Then Saturday night rolled around, this did too. And when I looked to my right, and I just couldn't believe the orange glow. APD officer Ryan Hollett said it was weird. That night his shoulder was bugging him. He couldn't sleep. He got out of the tent to use the bathroom and saw this. The fire fueled by high winds was moving fast. The men packed up what they could and hit the road. There was fire down below us. There was fire up above us on the ridge. There were, we couldn't back up. The smoke was so bad. There was smoke and flames everywhere. Then the trees falling on Forest Road 76, their route out. The fires are burning on each side of the road, like so we're we're literally just standing in the middle of fire trying to move this tree. The tree was massive. They tried to move it, but couldn't. We couldn't go back. We couldn't go forward. And we would probably even in our trucks, we would definitely suffocate and die of the smoke. Ryan called his wife. I think anybody who feels like they're about to go through something life or death would give anything for that chance to be able to say, hey, I love you that one last time. The guys came up with another plan. They soaked pillowcases with water, wrapped them around their faces, then tried again to move that massive tree. This time they did. There would be more though, falling trees all the way down the mountain. My poor son, he was in the back and he would beg me and he would say, dad, please don't go. Oh. And, and uh, I had to, you know, you gotta keep fighting. Three officers, an army veteran, and a little boy made it out. You keep pushing, you keep fighting yeah. until, you know, until, until your body is done. And, and we were, we didn't stop. We never just, we didn't break down. We didn't just, nobody broke down and just, you know, nobody lost it. it we were, we just were like, we got to keep going. We got to keep fighting. They did. I think every single person, I speak for all of us, when we credit that this was God, um, getting us out of there because by all rights, we shouldn't have gotten out of there alive. Not only did they make it out, but on the way down that mountain, they also used their flashlights to look for other campers and hunters to alert them of the fire so they could make it out as well. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. An incredible story. The trip down that mountain was so rough, actually, it took out the bottom of one of the trucks.